Welcome back to one of your favorite military podcasts for entertainment. My name is Albert Ramos. I am your host. And as always, I am joined by my co-host, Barry Bull. What's up, Barry? How are you doing today? Barry Biceps. <laughs> oh, yeah. you want to start it off like that already? Well, I'm just being, it's not, oh, uh, that's not my birth name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so today we are joined by Jorge Gamboa, active duty Marine and personal trainer. What's going on, Jorge? How are you doing today, What's bro? What's up, bro? I'm doing well, doing well. Hell yeah, man. Well, welcome to our podcast. I appreciate you coming down. As I understand it, man, you flew all the way from North Carolina to be here with us today. Is that right? Correct, but not correct. Okay. So correct. I definitely flew here uh, from North Carolina, but I'm getting the most bang for my buck being first time in California over here. Yeah. My main priority coming over here was to go be with my client for his bodybuilding show on Sunday. Oh yeah. Me and you have been in communication on social media. Me and Barry go way back. And then you're like, oh, let's go get a coffee. And next thing you know, I'm here. And I'm like, okay, this is yeah. awesome. So first, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so, so you're a, so you're a bodybuilder. I mean, can we show, okay. can you just hit a little quick little, little you know, Barry bicep? You know, listen, wow, guys, hey, come hey, on. You guys got to pull him up and we got, we got to, hey, listen, we got to do a competition right now. Yes. Both both of y'all put him up. Oh, put him gosh, up. Let's I'm see feeling him. really, let's see him. Oh, wow. Okay. He's got right. it. Hey, you guys vote in the comments. I think by Barry, a long Barry's shot. Barry's yes. Got it. Okay. So what's your name, rank? What do you do in the Marine Corps? My name, my name is Jorge Gamboa, also known as Staff Sergeant Gamboa and my Last one is Coach G. Uh, what do I do in the Marine Corps? I am a embarkation chief, a logistics chief. 0431, now it's a 0441. To wrap up what they do, that MO is broken down in the, the slash, the embark slash logistics. The embark portion is you are the subject matter expert for all means of transportation to transport personnel and cargo, whether it be via sea, air, um, road, any type of way. You are the, the number one person that's responsible to pack that equipment accordingly and get the safety of cargo and Marines to that destination. Gotcha. And then that logistical piece portion comes from there's people that don't deploy as much there is units are non-deployable so now you go into that other portion like hey we got to set up this type of ceremony we got to do this for this type of run we're gonna grab this trash that we have uh, in the in the building and we have to dermo it so you just do the plan and coordination for that type of stuff yeah awesome okay so how long have you been in the marine corps I've been in the Marine Corps now a little bit over nine years. Awesome. And do you regret joining? No. no. Why not? It's the absolute best thing that's ever happened to me, equivalent to everything else. Um, that brings me value to my life. Why not? Because the Marine Corps has— Well, like, I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm, I'm asking because we see a lot of negativity, right? Yeah. 75% of the Marine Corps gets out after one enlistment, and there's nothing wrong with that if you're one of those 75%. Yeah. But you hear a lot of negativity. We all know it. Recruiting is a problem. Blah, blah, blah. You're saying it's the best decision you've ever made. Yes. Why? Because it set me up for success and it's created the man who I am today. Yeah. Would you go back and do it the same way if you could? Yes. 100%. Okay. okay. And the reason why, and I think that whole negative connotation that people have with the Marine Corps, it's not only Marine Corps, it's just the population of the world in general has this negative mindset all the time. Everything is like, oh, this happened to me. Mm. Is that The way I look at stuff, everything happens for me. It happened for a reason. I got put in this situation to either learn a lesson or be receive this blessing. So when it comes to the Marine Corps, I just took everything at face value with no emotional tie and just went full force, full speed. I joined the Marine Corps and at boot camp, at boot camp, I remember being next to my rack mate. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was this in San Diego? I'm a real Marine, Paris Island. So let's go. Hey, I was going to say so that, so that means San Diego. You've been today. You've yeah. been outnumbered today. Yeah, what so. you guys need there? <laughs> uh, yeah, September 15th, 2014 is when I got on the yellow foot. Hello, and, where were you at September 14th, 2014? <laughs> no idea, wherever they're at. Yeah. I was in Okinawa. I can say that. Okay, all right. Uh, probably, I don't know, doing some random ass I was at I&I &I, uh, Sacramento. Oh, nice. 
I was in Paris Island, South Carolina, <laughs> screaming out of my face. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but ever since day one, since I joined, it, like at recruit training, my my bunk mate, my my person next to me, thought I was nuts. Yeah, why? because <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm doing 20 years. Yeah, 20. Oh, he's like, bro, you're not even in the Marine Corps. How do you know? I'm like, no, I'm doing 20 years. I'm doing 20 years. Um, because at that time, I already made a commitment to myself. And since a young age, I've always been able to stick to my word on what I'm going to do. Mm. I mean, there's, there, there's sword, stuff though. that might be able to shift the direction sure. due to the variables that you can't control. Yeah. But my whole life, if I told myself I'm going to do something... I end up doing it. My mom, to this day, she has a list. And she always calls me. She says she's so proud. She has a list of... Shout out to mom. Let's go. She's in Florida. I, I love that woman to death. That's... that's uh, and I get... I, I credit all her positive and enthusiasm. Um, I got that from her. Like, I got that. My mom is up at 04 every you, single mom. morning. She's a Zumba instructor. She lives her best life. Wow. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So, um, in boot camp, it like I've always been able to just like, hey, I'm going to do this. In my prior life, before joining the Marine Corps, I said, I'm going to do this. I said, I'm going to be a Marine. Well, what made you want to join the Marines? Like, why not the Navy, the Air Force? Because I've always looked for a challenge, mm. no matter what. Mm. Uh, no matter, I, I wrestled, I played football, and then I, at 18 years old, well, I started working out at 14. I started getting obsessed with bodybuilding. At 16. I remember mm. I... So you've I, always been in good shape? No, not at all. Mm. I've always was, before that, before 14 years old, I was short, small, fat, pudgy kid that got picked on. Mm. Wow. So what happened... Where, and where'd you grow up at? I grew up in South Florida. Uh, I had a, a, I get the best of both worlds uh, for my upbringing. My upbringing came from, honestly, I grew up in a two-bedroom apartment with nine other siblings in North Lauderdale, Florida. It's a Fort Lauderdale area. Uh, if for anybody that's watching and is curious where it is, it's not the best environment. Mm. It, it's a dangerous environment. I remember going, getting ready to go to get school, and I just hear like police sirens and people are like, get down, get down, get down. Oh, damn. Um, fortunately enough, um, my mom met my stepdad. My mom was a single mom for years. I never saw my mom. Uh, during that time from where I was living there, she was working three jobs. I was taken care of by my grandma and my other siblings. My mom and my stepdad, and fortunately enough, we went from living in a very harsh environment to going to one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in South Florida. Oh, damn. Um, so from there on, I really shifted my perspective because I was, I was pretty hard on, at the time, at, even at fourth grade, I was like, uh, I don't like this place. It's not my my vibe. I literally said, I don't want to live here. It's too white. Like that's literally what I said when oh, I was damn. nine years old. Um, but that, I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> that that's where I grew up. Um, because I came, don't know if you guys knew I am. I am. I'm actually white. Man. No, he's actually half Puerto Rican. If I didn't want him to tell you guys, yeah. and I didn't know if you picked up. But anyways, I'm just <laughs> sorry. But, yeah, I went down a rabbit hole real quick about the bodybuilding, um, and then why I joined the Marine Corps. Bodybuilding was extremely hard. I started. I started body. I did my first bodybuilding show at 18. Oh, wow. wow! At 18 years old, I did my first bodybuilding show in 2000. Prior to the Marine Corps. Prior to the Marine Corps. Right before I joined the Marine Corps, I did my first bodybuilding show in March, and then I joined the Marine Corps in September. Yeah, I'd love to see those mm -hmm. pictures. I was shredded. <laughs> I was shredded at 18 yeah. years old. But from there on, nothing became hard because I purposely put myself in suffering. So what was your boot camp experience like? Like, you know, absolutely you, phenomenal. Yeah, because you had you had social media at the time. Yeah. So you did you have like a picture in your mind, your recruiters, and then you no, show I, up? I, was I, it so luckily all my recruiters were phenomenal. They were all jacked. Yeah, because they're, they're from RS for Lauderdale. So yeah. all the recruiters, what else do they have to do? All the recruiters from RS for Lauderdale are freaking awesome. So shout out to RS for Lauderdale. Oh, yeah. Shout out, we love out you guys. there doing God's work. Let's go in the best place to recruit Southern Florida and the Caribbean. I've never been there. Well, you have to go. It's fun. I'm going there in a couple. I know of days. the song Caribbean Queen. Caribbean Queen. Yeah, it's out there. I'm actually going. I'm actually going to be there in a in the next couple of days. I'm Send going, me some pictures. I'm doing. I'm going to a, for give a me some Christmas presents. Summit. Uh, no, nah, I don't know my, about the Christmas. Pay for my travel. Uh, yeah, I took it too happening. far, guys, and that's usually what I do. You know, I'm a sergeant major. That's what we do. That's how he tries to convince me. Okay, that's right. 
Um, but yeah, so essentially, you you joined the Marine Corps. Obviously, you were in great shape. How was the ASBAT for you? Easy. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't too hard. So what what do you score? <laughs> I think like a forty. He's like one hundred and seventy. <laughs> no, oh, it, it, it was easy. Easy thirty two. Two hundred and forty. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think I got like a fifty two, forty eight, something around those. Okay, like, it was okay, average okay. numbers. It okay, wasn't. Okay, I, okay, I was okay, never. Okay. In high school, I already knew I was joining the Marine Corps. Well, because people are already judging you when you say logistics. They're judging you. Yeah, but not necessarily. In what not, sense, though? Because not, I not, yeah, not all the logistics. Just like jobs. they do with supply. Yeah, but not all logistics. You're a box jobs. kicker. Well, I get, I get, I know because I work directly with, uh, and I've had, you know, uh, logistics Marines yeah. in charge, like Embark Marines in charge. Uh, um, I've been in charge of Embark Marines and. Yeah, no. Embark Marines are, are they're, they're not necessarily yeah. Bravos. You remember the Bravo, like more than 50, oh, less yeah. than 50? Yeah. So, so no, yeah. like they're a mixture. They're a, I always they're felt a bad mixture. for the Embarkers because it's like calm. You just can't get it right in someone's eyes. In yeah, someone's true. eyes, that it's not true. right. It's not good enough. This should have got picked up. This should have got dropped off. This wasn't packed. You know, has that ever happened to you? I mean, yes, but no. Yeah. It's all about like, perspective because you only can control what you can control is sure. like how the buses how you weren't there it. yeah i mean i mean the 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 actual the s4 officer which yeah. is the ones that's he in just charge blames of, yeah he's enlisted, he's always gonna be stressing out he right? always blames yeah. enlisted marines he's always stressing out i one of my like the biggest thing that i learned when it comes to logistics yeah it's you only can do so much right especially we work with civilian entities sure i can't force the guy to be on time especially you know what like, i'm saying like he's like a, him. he's a retired gunny yeah yeah, yeah or something true. he's got uh, like swerved a, shout out to swerve yeah he's got a cigarette <laughs> hanging out as long as like for example for me if i did everything i could in my power yeah, of course. i properly coordinated everything then i'm i'm at peace of course like, sure all the outside noise like hey, what he's trying to say is if you're a civilian entity and he could kill you he would okay but he's <laughs> yes. not legally yes. uh, like allowed to take he could that. choke you out or so professionally you what he's saying let me translate for you that they're not marines he's saying i'm not gonna kill you i'm gonna do i'm, I'm just gonna be over to do my thing we're gonna knock it out of park of it but we won't kill you <laughs> i want to touch on real quickly i wanted to touch this point that you said how was boot camp it was, it was did you get yelled at yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the point. Paris that's the, Island, they I mean, don't that, yell. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's the point. Uh, uh, hey, okay. No, but I, I gave it my 100% hey, 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 Shout out yeah, San Diego. I, I, I screamed out my face every single day. Yeah. I got meritorious promoted yeah. to I PSC. love it here. Yeah. I, I love tried. you, drill instructors. I'm kidding. I, but I grabbed that same energy because I saw, I actually saw one of my, uh, my drill oh, instructors at Staff and CO Academy. <laughs> and I thanked them. I thanked them. I'm like, dude, thank you. And the dude was just the, the yelling, the destructive type of behavior, but it was the nonstop <laughs> energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> destructive behavior. He's a drill instructor. Bro, can I tell you a story that this guy yeah. made me do? Go ahead, go ahead. Go All right, ahead. So, I'm dead. Go you need counseling. I felt like you were going to say any names. I'm not going to say any names. Go but ahead, this is what ahead. this guy made me do. Yes. And I still thank them to this day. You ready? Okay. Oh, here we go. We were taking the practice test for yeah. like the knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They're like, heads are closed, you can't use the bathroom. And you can't use a head. And I'm like, man, I really already have to pee, but okay, check, I, I'll hold it, yeah. I'll hold it. Question 67, mm, good, I really have to pee. I'm sitting on cross applesauce, and I'm like, oh, I really have to pee. Question 90, bro, my thing starts wiggling. Your <laughs> thing, <laughs> thing, <laughs> now thing starts wiggling. You're not talking about your pinky. <laughs> no, and I ain't talking yet. Yeah, I'm talking about my lower extremity. Something starts wiggling. <laughs> <Yeah>. Pinky toe. <laughs> um, question 98. Uh, this might be a little the TMI, but um, yeah, I'm Hispanic, so there's I, I might have a little extra <laughs> yeah. skin. This thing becomes a water balloon. Uh, some way, somehow, I'm holding it. Yeah, um, okay. Question 99. Before it even ends, I just say, dude, I can't do this anymore. I speak. Sprint, sprint to the head, okay. which is about 50 meters. I don't make it. I, I'm peeing myself. Wow. This is, boot camp? Time. This is boot camp. I'm we, peeing myself. You took a golden shower. <laughs> but wait, wait, so I'm not done. This is, this is the worst part. So after that, I didn't make it, but I still try. I finished like the rest of it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I started a trend because as soon as I went, Five, six other dudes oh, following me. Man. Mm. So they well, at least, at least if they're gonna freaking, you know, you're catching a beat down on this one, 
you're going down to, with some other Exactly. Guys. Yeah. That's what I was like. I yeah, was like, I'm hoping sure. someone's going to tag along. <laughs> so they did. But then they all immediately, they're like, they're like, yo, get in the, what are the, what's the showers? We're going to get a proper terminology. Rain room. The sure. Rain get, room, get in the rain room. Yeah. And then we get in the rain room. This dude looks at me. And this is not the guy I'm talking about. There's another drill instructor. He is very tall individual, super muscular, but like just lean, look like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. He grabbed his <laughs> cover. He says, Gamboa, you pee yourself? And I'm like, yes, sir. And he just goes like this. And he's like, go change. I go to my little yeah. walk, foot locker yeah. this to recruit grab my at change. The moment, this recruit at the moment. This recruit at the moment goes to change. Um, and then <laughs> while I'm searching through my stuff, the individual who I saw at Steph and Sierra Academy, and I thanked them because of his destructive and energetic behavior, says, get Bella! I said, yes, sir. He said, what are you doing? I'm like, this recruit was told to change. No. No, you're staying in that. Jack. Oh, I, I man. I stayed in. Um, that was. Uh, um, I learned hey, my lesson that day. That was just one of the many uh, stories that you go through recruit training, okay? <laughs> if you're a DI, and I'm going to say this because I did not know this and it sounds okay. whatever. As a new drill instructor, you are not eating or drinking. And so, you know, by osmosis, what do you never have to do? Pee. You never yeah. have to pee, yeah. right? And your recruits, you got them just slamming those canteens left yeah, and right. Yeah, They're yeah, sitting yeah. there. And my senior drill instructor one cycle, he comes to me. He's like, hey, man, like every, you know, 30, 45 minutes, you got to be freaking pissing the kids, man, because mm. they, it's a problem. They can't, you're trying to take yeah. them out there to drill. They can't drill. And, yeah. you know, as evidence, Gamboa, yeah. he, he, you know, his, he said, he said that it wiggled. <laughs> he wiggled. The he said wiggle. it wiggled. <laughs> it wiggled. Uh, it he put a little wiggle in your jiggle, okay? <laughs> so, so boot camp was stressful for you. And then as you progress through your boot camp experience and you come closer to earning that title, Marine, what's going on? I'm just thrilled. Every single day, I'm just going at it. They say, what, well, chow to chow, chow. Um, take it meal by meal. I just loved every single second of it. Maybe because that's been my per personality. I've always, always have been able to see the light at the end of the tunnels. I've always Good. been a positive personality. Yeah. And this carried over to the beginning of my career where I saw this was a normal. Mm -hmm. Because people would be like, Bro, you're, you're talking so about like the enthusiasm, the energy. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, you're so motivated. You're so motivated. And I didn't. I didn't get it at the time, but now older looking back, yeah. I get it. It wasn't motivation. Yeah. It was just positive. Yeah. Why I've, I'm living one single life. Why would I want to live it negative? Why would I want to live upset if yeah. I have the well, option? Well, okay, be but here's the thing. I, this is what I think, okay? I think people make their emotions. We all do it, but it depends on what you focus on. They may, In this case, negativity, let's say. Mm -hmm. They make it a big part of, of their focus. They make it a part of their identity, mm -hmm. right? And I, may, I, the people I work with, I make them do that, that Tony Robbins exercise, right? You cl come in a room, close your eyes. In a second, I'm going to have you open your eyes, okay? You got five seconds. I want you to find everything that's brown. Ready? Open your eyes. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your eyes. All right. What'd you find that was red? And they are stumped, right? Because they weren't looking for anything yeah. red. So they didn't see anything that was red. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times with that depression, that negativity, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. that's what it can be for us. Yeah. You know, so what you're talking about, hey, I don't have to, I get to. Yeah. It doesn't mean we can like wish away our depression, yeah. but you know, just for whatever it's worth. Yeah. And uh, that positivity ended up being an influence on others. Sure. Yeah. Every single peer. It's contagious. Every Everybody loves peer, being around people that are fun to be around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single peer I had has always got into the gym. Every single subordinate I had has got into the gym. Start doing the things I do. Start doing the good things in life because I noticed that if I try to get influenced by others, because the norm that we talked about, the negativity, mm -hmm. right? My first unit ever, second medical battalion. Bro, you don't deploy. You, yeah. don't, you don't deploy on a medical battalion. You're working for Navy. You join the Marine yeah. Corps, mm -hmm. and now your, your commanding officer is a yeah. naval officer. Yeah. yeah. Everybody was so negative. They're like, you're going to hate this place. This is the, yeah. the, the you're just whatever. Recruiting. You're just a boot, boot. And I'm like, okay, okay. I kept on being that boot. That boot got promoted 
while those people didn't get promoted. Yeah. That boot got selected to go on deployment. That boot did every single MOS schoolhouse underneath his MOS at the time in a matter of less than a year. Okay, so what do you say to the people out there that are watching right now and they're they're either, you know, in a unit or they're going to a unit where it's just this negative, you know, mm -hmm. environment, everybody hates it, and they're giving you that advice. You're showing up and they're going, oh, dude, this place sucks, yeah. man. Oh, I got something what, What's you. the advice? What do you give those people? Do not become a product of your environment. Make your environment a product of you. So how do I do that? Be an egg. I mean, not an egg. Be a coffee bean, my analogy. But I messed up this analogy, but let me give you this analogy real quick. I, I got it from John Gordon. Um, it's grab the Marine Corps, right? Let the Marine Corps be a big pot of boiling water. All right, now you have an option every single day on what you want to be. Do you want to be a carrot? You put a carrot in the boiling water, you become soft, mushy, sad. Oh, I hate the Marine Corps. I'm not going to do anything. I can't wait until I get out. Or you become an egg. You throw an egg in a hard, hard, uh, um, hard boil. The boiling water. The boiling water. And um, you become hard exterior, but really soft interior, uh, signifying irritable, easy to crack, just angry, just a little angry little egg, right? Or... Your coffee bean. You put coffee bean in a boiling water. You make coffee. I've been to, what, six, seven Marine Corps units now? Bro, every single unit I've been to, they're like, this is the worst unit. This is the worst unit. Yeah. You're going to hate it here. Trust me, I was the same way. You want to know what my favorite unit has been? All of them. Every single one of them? All of them. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. Because it, it's, it is what you make it. Man. It is 100% yeah. it, 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 it has to be what you make it. If you're watching this, come on. It's just, look, you got to change your mentality. Yeah. And again, you can't wish away toxic leaders. I'm not exactly. saying that. It's not what I'm saying, man. But no matter where you go, you're not going to escape that stuff. Yeah. And never, ever, if I'm hearing you correctly, give anybody else the keys to your positivity, your yeah. energy, mm -hmm. your joy, your motivation. You decide, right? Who you're gonna be exactly but you got to know who you are 100 percent. you you really just have to look inward you really have to yeah. look inward and especially everybody goes through the same recruit training yeah everybody either goes to mct or soi sure and they go to their schoolhouse so we know better we know what to do it's just a matter of executing and actually doing oh, we yeah. know better but people refuse to do better because now you're Hey, you're a boo. You like to be squared away, bro. Okay. I, I know it's a right Somewhere thing along the line, we made being squared away like a bad thing. Like you're like you're a yeah. motard, you're a boo, you yeah. know, whatever. It's I think influence. It, it is. It is. If you're out there and you're squared away, you love, you know, taking pride in how you look, not just your physical appearance, but yeah, how you wear the is. uniform. That's what that's pride. what counts, man. Because that's on you, right? That's on you. You represent not just the Marine Corps, you represent you. All right. Now, what advice would you give to somebody who's thinking about joining the Marine Corps? What would you say to them after everything that you've been through, everything that you know and haven't have experienced? What would you say? Excellence in the basics, just like we we're talking about. People know better, but don't do better. Your drill instructors, if they're doing their job, and which it should be, your all your other instructors, they're gonna guide you to the right path. It's just a matter of walking the path. Now you're gonna get different type of leaders, right? Those instructors were your first type of leaders. They're actually starting from the recruiter, mm -hmm. right? So now it's, you're grabbing the good traits and the bad traits and you're forming your own identity. Mm. So just excellence in the basics. And then once you know what you need to become and realize, hey, I got it. This guy's in charge of me, but he does this way. And this is not really actually correct, whether it be morally, whether it be per orders, whether it be whatever the case might be. Just grab that with a grain of salt and apply it. Hey, I'm not going to use this in my leadership toolbox in the future when I become in that position. What about if somebody's out there, they're on the fence about joining? They're not sure. Should I join the military? Should I be a Marine? What do you say? If you have other options, um, Honestly, if you're already thinking about it, just execute. That's, that's how I, you should like think about any step of decision you're on the fence with. If you're already on the fence with it, stop thinking, bro. Just do it. Mm. Just do it because what's the worst gonna, that happen? Four you years? fail, 
Yeah. You fail. It's or you do, years, you do four years. But four years was an immense amount of benefits. Four years with meeting True. people that like you, true. people like you. I accredit all my success to the Marine Corps and to my bodybuilding like lifestyle since a, a young age because those two things together mm -hmm. went hand in hand to build a undeniable discipline that I have in my life that I don't break character. Almost so like. were there bad units that you were in and bad leaders that you encountered and, and adversity maybe that you encountered, yeah. but your takeaway from it was more positive? 100%. Okay. I've been through so a, it's not like you didn't experience the stuff. No, I've been through all personally a lot. I don't want to really go into crazy detail about a lot of stuff, but I'll, I'll give a couple things. I've been through. Uh, I, well, let's talk about just hardships that you get into, like deployments and stuff. Rough, austere environments where you're not showering, you're not sleeping, you're not doing anything. But then there's like personal stuff dealing with toxic leaders. Right? It's a matter of how you go moving forward because. Those places, I've been at rock bottom. I've been at rock bottom multiple times, but I've been grateful for every single time I hit rock bottom because every single time I come back harder. I hit rock bottom just to, boom, spring up. What's, what's something that's been really hard on you, maybe uh, uh, an issue, a problem that you've gone through recently that you're kind of, you know, looking back on and just like, man, that, that was tough. There's a... I'll give one. And uh, let me ask you, let me be more direct. Have you, are you married? I am married. Oh, not anymore. I am divorced. I am divorced, but that, that's exactly what I was going to bring up. My divorce. Uh, the mother of my child, Angel, I love her to death. She's the kindest soul. But just like we talked about knowing better and doing better, in my marriage, I didn't, I, I didn't do better. Mm -hmm. I messed up. What do you mean by that? I messed up. I gave in to instant gratification and temporary satisfaction and didn't look at the whole picture as when I married my wife, I wanted to be a husband and I wanted to be a dad. Therefore, I gave into the, hey, I'm getting all this attention from other females and I messed up. I messed up. I openly take ownership about my mistakes in my marriage, therefore causing our separate ways, which it did get ugly at the time. Um, a lot of portions where I had to be separated from my kid. Yeah. But over time, I was able to show her that, hey, I know I did wrong, but I learned. I learned. And eventually, she was able to forgive. Now we went our separate ways, but she's one of my best friends now. One of my best friends, and we love our, our son, Leo, today. It takes, it takes a lot of uh, uh, maturity in order for you to, to identify that and to be able to go past that, you know? Um, specifically, man, I know, I know, you know, specifically the mental health part of it, it takes its toll. Oh, yeah. Specifically, when you say that you, you knew better and, and you, you do better, that you know that what could have done, but it wasn't. Yeah. You know, and and that is that's gotta be uh, that's gotta be so hard, man. Because me and Barry were talking about this offline. Um, that is the same thing with me now. You know, uh, I got out of the Marine Corps five years. Uh, I'm sorry, I got out of the Marine Corps this year, but five years ago, I was hoping to be in the position that I am today. Mm. And I was hoping to be in this position in order for me to be with my family. But there has been so many opportunities that has been open to me now that uh, I'm out of the Marine Corps professionally, then I'm like, I got to remember what it's for too. Because man, there's so many things that, that that has opened for me. And I'm like, my, my, my wife has to tell me, it's like, listen, you have barely spent any time with us. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like recruiting duty all over again. Mm -hmm. You know, and I have to really take a step back and be like, man, like it's that I think part of it, like for guys like us, it's that tenacity. You want to be successful. You're pushing the pace. You're driving, driving, driving. And it takes somebody sometimes in our life to go, hey, I need this from you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and right now I know you're, you're cranking away. I love you. Yeah. But I need I need, you know, something that maybe I'm not getting. Yet. I, I know you got to go real quick, but yeah. I really want to mention on that portion, it's because I see this the same concept as like you're going hard in your businesses and stuff like that, and you but you have your wife and your family, yeah, right. Same concept as leaders, they start 
not realize not giving their energy into the Marine Corps and start doing their endeavors where elsewhere, whether they're doing their own like other stuff or whatever the case might be. Like you mean entrepreneurship wise? Or? Either that or like completely just like feel entitled. Like, hey, the the reason I got I'm a gunny, I get yeah, to exactly. I got promoted. Yeah. Exactly. I did my time basically. Exactly. I did my time. You, you yeah. have to retired on active duty. Yeah. That's exactly the term. Um anything that it's part of your life and makes you you, you have to put more energy into it. Therefore, you only have a certain amount of energy. Like, for example, I'm, I'm in three selfless roles right now. Marine Corps leader, uh, father, and bodybuilding coach. I try to add anything extra. It starts taking away from something. No. So, yeah, for, for stuff like that, it's like always yeah. put, put your wife and your family at the equal level. Where well, you're able I, to put I see a lot of young leaders and entrepreneurs make that mistake. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't always need to, it, it, listen, if I'm opening a business, I need one um, great product. I don't mm -hmm. need 20 mediocre products that I'm like, oh, bouncing here and here. And there. You need one, mm -hmm. you know? And sometimes we think more means better and it, and it, and it, if it's taken away from the meat and potatoes, man, like you said, you know, yeah. so yeah. No, yeah, no, 100%. And, um, and Barry, I know that, that, that you, um, that you have to go. Yeah. We definitely appreciate you coming down, guys. This is going to be our, our last podcast of the year. So, uh, we will see you guys next year. But next year, we have a lot of good podcasts that are going to continue rolling your way. Um, before you, before you leave, I wanted to, uh, to let you know we've been growing. That you love me. Yeah. Well, that too. <laughs> uh, but we've been growing very at a very rapid uh uh is this rate. another prank no 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 it's not it's not Look a prank. how high his eyebrows got no, i no, promise no. you i promise you yeah it's been it's been uh it's been a very fast pass grow a uh, very fa fast paced growing rate that we've been growing in uh in youtube you know uh, uh we've been able to go from we started this a couple of months ago yeah and then now we're already at almost 1300 followers yeah or subscribers oh, on thank you YouTube. guys uh, seriously everyone you so guys. shout out to all the all the That's people awesome. that are following us on youtube uh our my social media specifically i mean i know you your tiktok and instagram was already at a hundred thousand followers but mine has grown tremendously you know thanks to to this and and the majority of the feedback that we've got is man this is the podcast that i really needed yeah you know and we love the feedback and i appreciate you sharing yeah. that brother because you i know we do this for the same reason this is our passion yeah. we really want to yeah. give back we love having the voice but we're not perfect okay Am I? Obviously, yes. Is Albert? No. <laughs> you know, like every time that we disagree, it's because he's wrong. No, I'm kidding. Um, but we want your feedback because we're not perfect and we want to make this a better product every single freaking episode. Yes. All right. And that's why we bring people on here, people that you guys want to hear from, yeah. talking about topics that you guys want to talk about. Correct. Where we are not, and as I just posted the other day, because I get this all the time, people will be like, retirees are subject to the UCMJ. And I'm like, well, they're not. Okay. It's so like... <laughs> And it's, but you laugh, but they're seriously, I get people like, I'm going to report you. And I'm like, yeah. okay, they need to can you tell me who you're you. reporting me to though? Because honestly, I would love to do a video on this. Like, to the VA. Just out of curiosity. Yeah. You know? So I did a post. It's like, no, you're not subject to the UCMJ. My point is we can speak a lot more freely than you can. Yeah. And if you're somebody who wants to remain anonymous, we'll keep you that way. Yeah. Correct. We'll keep you that way. So that's what the podcast is for. But I had a blast. Um, thank you. You know, uh, Gamboa Fitness, Albert, yep. all right? Will, so if, if if you follow us on any one of the platforms, if you can reach me at, at Bull5277 on Instagram, at Bull52772 um, on TikTok, YouTube, the A to B podcast. Correct. We really need you on the A to B podcast because that's the one that we're trying to, to get moving, okay, guys? And, and again, all the support matters. I'm nobody special. We're just regular guys we look amazing because I, I we're like marines so. and so it's like you, look, you know what i mean and i'm so <laughs> sorry if you're in the air force and i'm not even sorry you know, but no we do love all the service members out there hit us a follow subscribe put on the notifications man notification yeah, the bell button because yes. we are we are posting on the on the a to b podcast all the 
time. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. So um, yeah, man, um, I'm happy to see what 2024 brings. Um, I know that once you live here, the podcast, I won't see you until next year. But that's okay because we have a lot of of ground to cover, man. This we're just getting started with this thing. So I definitely appreciate you guys. I'm gonna stay over here talking with uh, with George for uh, for a couple more minutes, and then we will see you in part two of this podcast. Make sure that you subscribe, you hit us follow. George, where can people find you at? You can find me on Instagram at gamboa.fitness. Gamboa.fitness. Go hit him a follow, guys. As you guys can see, he is high intensity, high energy. Yeah, let's get some more flexing. Let's come yeah. on. Just hit it. Wow. There guys, we go. Come on. Look at that. Camera Look at that. Out. Yeah. Get the hey, right angle. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. There we go, guys. Hey, I'll take hey, off guys. the shirt right now. He hasn't, no, even, even, he he hasn't <laughs> had any food today. He did Don't eat tempt it. me. I'll take well, off the he shirt. Did eat. <laughs> okay, wow. I'm ready. He did eat a PFC earlier. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode, guys. Bye.